Hello! In the last episode we did the distortion effect uh, the, from the Distortion Plus uh, schematics um, and I forgot a couple of things there and a few missed opportunities. Uh, so I forgot, totally forgot to try with different uh, diodes that I, I made them exchangeable but uh, we never, I never showed any other diodes. So I thought that's what we're gonna do today and also um, someone asked for uh, to watch on an oscilloscope what a distortion uh, effect does to the uh, input signal. Uh, so we'll do that as well and we can also, while we do that, we change the diode so we can see what the different diodes does on the waveform as well. So that is what we are going to do today. Thank you to my Patreons, you are amazing for uh, supporting me in doing all these things that I do here. Um, so let's just dive right in, connect this and start exchanging diodes. So uh, let's begin. This is hard clipping. That was, I didn't say that. So these two um, diodes are connected directly to ground. Uh, and that means it's called hard clipping and there's also soft clipping where the diodes are in the signal path um, but I guess we have to make another pedal thing to uh, show how that sounds so we're gonna start with this really uh, clean sinus wave something like that um, and now it's just clean input, we're gonna, if we move, so even though we have nothing uh, on the on the output right, uh, the distortion is all off, but this is still um, this is still a bit distorted and it sounds like this This could also be because I just took the schematics straight off and someone pointed out in the comments that uh, uh, the input impedance uh, of pedals for guitars is much higher or different, whatever, uh, because the input signal from a guitar is so tiny and we're working with modular voltages here so the difference there is quite big. Um, so we should actually have an, an attenuator on the input and or um, change some values, some resistors, I'm guessing. I haven't done that, so that might play into the sound being distorted while the uh, distortion is at zero and output is at max though. So, But when we move up the distortion So really what happens is we get the square wave, like a, a jagged square wave. So and that's because it, it clips the top and bottom. Uh, I think that's uh, what it it does. Uh, so you can see here we get a bit round corners there when we turn it down and as soon as we turn it up it gets really jagged so that's what it does uh, so this is now let's find some other diodes and see how that sounds uh, so now we have just simple 1N4148 in here and if nothing else, I think the, uh, the amplitude is much higher with these. We just switch one of them out. So the amplitude is much smaller then, yes. Alright, so now the amplitude is even 
greater. Um, now we have red LEDs. And I really love the sound here in the middle. That was a really nice sound. Let's try with green LEDs. Interesting. <laughs> no LED, no uh, diodes at all. Still quite interesting sound. There we hear the difference. Let's see power diodes. 401s. And there's also, you're supposed to be able to do a dual, so you have two going one way and one going the other way, that should give another uh, sound as well. And also, this is it's a filter, I guess. Um, yeah, so just Try out a few of these or make add a rotary switch to add between them uh, to get that really the crunch that you want for your uh, specific <laughs> distortion. This is a triangle wave, doesn't look like it, it's just Saw wave. It is just way over. And here's a square wave. If we go back to the uh, the episode where I did the BMC 030 guitar input, which also had a square output, which I said in that episode that that did sound quite a lot like a distortion. Uh, this would explain that, I guess, that you actually get a squared signal because it amplifies the um, input so much and then squares it, uh, cuts it off. And as well, because we have so large signals, maybe everything is turning into a square wave because the input is too hot. So maybe I need to look at uh, lowering the input to get a better effect on the, uh, of the uh, distortion. Here's a quick sketch uh, showing uh, what you could do with a a switch like this, a rotary switch, where you have one pin in the middle and then a bunch around the edge that you connect it to. There's many different kinds. Here's one. This one's quite common. And this one. Um, so you have the middle pin there and then you have all these configurations of diodes, different diodes that you want. And this is the pins on the output and then this uh, is then you connect these two uh, to the points on the uh, in the schematics uh, where it usually connects so then, then you just turn the switch 
and you will uh, change your diode configuration. So that is an extra idea for this module or any other uh, distortion module, I guess. To even more drive home the point, I did a Falstad uh, simulation of this. If you haven't tried Falstad, I can really recommend that. It's If you want to know what a circuit does, this really simply shows it uh, and you build a circuit pretty quickly. You just R, resistor, C, capacitor, uh, G, ground and all the other stuff is up here in the draw section. So it is yeah, also, uh, of course, W for wire for just drawing a wire. But so uh, very simple. Side note. So w here I have the circuit running. Uh, I have a three volt going in because I wanted to see if my input voltage was messing with this in any way. Uh, and I'd say no, it doesn't. Um, like I have a test point here after the op amp stage, so the gain stage. And as you can see, it is a really nice uh, sinus curve still. Let's see, it is this one. And if we do, so here starts the clipping. And there we have really, really large clipping. Uh, but so it is just a sinus wave here and this looks very similar to the output we had even when when the output here is still a sinus wave the clipping of these two diodes makes it in, even at small uh, volumes it makes it into a kind of a square so if we raise the volume really high and then we start clipping here We see that now is when it just becomes sort of a square wave, very similar to the one we had uh, when we maxed out everything. Um, so yeah, it's you have to play with these two uh, potentiometers uh, to get a good sounding sound, I guess. Also on another note, I was looking through schematics for other uh, distortion pedals I could try to build. I thought of the DoD Overdrive 250 and as I said in the last video as well that many many pedals look seem exa almost exactly the same and this one even says the DoD Overdrive 250 is yet another 741 with two diodes on the output. It is almost exactly the same as the MXR Distortion Plus and a number of other units. So this one is very similar. You see the op amp and then on the output two diodes uh, reverse to each other to ground and a pot to output. Uh, here's another one, the blue clipper, which I also thought about doing. Uh, and it is also a op amp, two diodes to ground and output. So the, that this configuration is very common uh, and this is hard clipping again uh, so uh, I found this one a harmonic sweetener uh, don't know what this one is but I think this is what is called uh, soft clipping uh, as it is in the signal path uh, over this uh, op amp so that's it for this week. Uh, yeah, now uh, I'll think about having the uh, oscilloscope uh, out uh, in the next few uh, videos uh, so you can see what the different effects do to the sound. Um, here's the next project. Um, I was going to make the fuzz phase um, transistor fuzz. Uh, turns out that uh, you can't do that with any old transistor. 
you have it has to be a very specific old old transistor so uh, I got a bit um, stopped by that but there are tons of others to do so um, yeah a few things we can do with this one and we'll see if I can get some really old transistors coming my way as well. So until next time, take care, bye.